driver on 9 0. Mr. President, we're talking to Henry Wilson and Wilson McCarthy. The thought came up that if we could uh, get the leading Southern people, like uh, Mills and Harris and Landrum and Sykes, Mahon, Vincent, and so on, to hold the Southern uh, vote in line if uh, we accepted this new language, which is acceptable to the Northerners, to Kerry and Delaney and the rest of them, that uh, a terrific... The in the report. In the bill. Uh, that it would be a tremendous coup for you personally. I don't think you can do that, though. I just talked to a bunch of them, and uh, I think that you're gonna, just going to have a war if uh, if you try to rewrite the bill we sent up there. They're going to say that Spellman rewrote it. Now, that's it's that simple. They say we had a bill for all the country, all the people, treat them all well, but Spellman rewrote it. He sent down the word from the Pope, and that's it. I just been to Hill and just had lunch with 23 of them, and uh, they just tore right in. That's the first thing I want to talk about. I told them now, here's what we're going to try to do. Under NYA, we had uh, every kid, regardless of what church he belonged to, regardless of what race he belonged to, regardless of what section town he's in, we treat them all alike. We're going to pass this bill as we sent it up there, but we're going to put a provision in the report, and the administrator is going to treat all kids alike. And uh, there's nothing for y'all to get hot and bothered about now because Bill Moyer's in on this program, and he's not going to turn it over to the Pope. But uh, you have no idea how that feeling, and Halleck's got it going. He's outsmarted you. He just got him going just 100%. He tried the Negro thing, and that didn't get off the ground, and now he's got the religious thing, and he's got it working for him 100%. And you've got no more chance to hold uh, that Bible belt with uh, changing a comma on uh, the that, uh, that involved the church thing than you have of just flying to the moon, in my judgment, as of now. And well, um, I talked to Andrew about it this morning, and... He says, well, you can get a bill through the Rules Committee, but you get killed on the floor. Well, now, that's a question that came up, and it seemed to me that this was a possibility. Namely, let's say that it goes on the floor. You go through the rules. You go through this committee, which would accept it easily. You get on the floor, and there's an eruption against this particular part. And if you have to take an amendment there, so then you take the amendment, and uh, nothing is lost. If, on the other hand, they lose on the amendment, and uh, it is beaten off. Yeah, no, the Republicans will vote with the Catholics to kill the bill, and they'll vote to kill the bill. Well, that's the question, of course. Uh, if those fellows could be held in line not to kill the bill, then two things would happen. And this was Wilson's theory, and I thought it was pretty good. Number one, you would get not only the credit for putting through a fantastic education bill, which Will McCord, for example, describes as the best thing on aid to education that's happened, uh, for years, but I second, can't you put it through, though. I've already sent a bill up, you see, and I go to amending my own bill, I get in deep trouble. I'm, uh, well, say, why the bill has been amended. It will be know, amended in a I number know. of That's respects. that, right. That's right. But uh, not, uh, not by my leadership. Not by my leadership. Now, I don't know. I, I'm not close enough to it, Sarge, to yeah. know exactly what to do, but I know this feeling is deep, and it's... Uh, I would say it's just as uh, you, you'd almost have a fist fight if you'd put Bob Polk and Wright Patman in the room with Jim Delaney and uh, and Tip O'Neill. Well, of course, what they're saying, according to Wilson, is, is, is that the Bob Polk, for example, he gets everything he wants, but the northern guys who have to run against opposition don't get anything. That when the cotton wheat thing comes up, they vote uh, to help out in the way that the South needs it. Or like on the Ida vote today, as Wilson says, they, who's voting with it is the Northerners, who's voting against it is the Southerners. And that for once, if they, if they would stand on this one, it would show that the South is staying with you and that the South is going to help the North and you've got a united Democratic Party, united in a way it's never been united before. In fact, without losing a thing in the South or damn little, you gain fantastic support in the North. You've got all these guys in the north behind you as the guy who, like, when you brought the first civil rights bill through the Senate and the history since the Civil War, you bring through the first uh, aid education bill. I can't history. do it if it involves changing the bill you sent up yeah. because they just won't take it, and, they, and no human being can do it. God couldn't get them to do it. I see. Well, and uh, 
I think what you better try to work out is committee, is to get get to say, please give me the discretion, give me the power, put it in the report, and uh, where the report doesn't attract much attention, the bill's the same as sent up there. And if you can't trade, can't trust uh, uh, me and uh, and Johnson, you can't trust anybody. And I think you better just tell your folks that. To, and if they can't do it, they kill themselves a bill. But yeah. we, you can't. You, 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 we we were for this bill, and we all thought it's treating everybody all right. Now the Catholics raised this question. Walter's scared to death that they they're raising the question. They're going to get the the made uh, get the thing made an issue. I think it's a terrible thing for them to make it the issue. You mean Walter Jenkins? Yeah. yeah. And well, I actually, think they you... did, uh, they, I think the truth of the matter is that they're not so much worried about that as they are, uh, uh, let me say, irritated as well uh, about these other things that uh, bear on the same issue, namely that, as Kerry put it to me over there in uh, Phil Andrews' office, they're closing up my Navy yard. Now they're going to close up my schools. What the hell have I got to run with? And I got a Republican again. Well, we can't save his Navy yards. We I have, I've, I've saved uh, I've saved his Navy yards, but I am prepared to close them. They were on the list to close both Brooklyn and Boston. And if he and O'Neill want them closed, I can act forthwith, right quick. He doesn't have to get a religious argument started to do that. I, I asked McNamara to make a study of everyone uh, and take 12 months to do it, yeah. and that study hadn't come in. Yeah. But they had to blackmail me on that, and I told John McCormick I didn't blackmail on that yesterday. Yeah. Now, I'm the one that kept the Navy Yard in closing. Nobody else but Little Linda. Yeah. They ought to be closed. The WPA Navy Yard. Yeah. They operated for the basis of giving jobs for people that we do not need the work done, and it's just a... It's a it's a poverty program. That's what it is. But I've kept them open in Boston, in Brooklyn, and Philadelphia, and I did it because Ken O'Donnell came in here and said we can't afford to close them. Yeah. Well, but, uh, I'm not closing Carrier's Navy Yard, and if that's what he's doing on this, why well, we can close it if that helps his pain any. But we don't want to. We're trying to do our damnedest. And I'm not just, I'm, I'm not worried. I don't have to have a poverty program. If they want to kill it, they can kill it. Yeah. I think the wise thing for them to do, though, would, uh, would not just the church lower its boom here on a bill that's up there, because I think it'll be unfortunate for them. And I don't, uh, maybe unfortunate for the Democrats, too, but I, I, I just, uh, I think that if they can't trust one of their own to administer this bill, and they got language in a report that says that all kids will be treated alike, uh, I don't know what kind of language it is, but uh, uh, they told me, Larry O'Brien said they had five different types of it, and that uh, uh, they could put it in the report, and then you've got discretion, you've got power, and uh, uh, this doesn't involve uh, parochial schools. Uh, uh, just just leave the power with you. And you you operate it. Well, actually, actually, I uh, think that what they claim, any rate, what uh, O'Brien claims, and Wilson tells me, the truth of the matter is that they're not that they're not raising a religious religious issue, and that that's a sort of a superficial thing. That it's these other considerations that are uh, well. What can I do about the others? I've kept well, them from being closed. Now, how much further can I go? Can I build a new one there? Is that that the point they're raising? No, of course not. They're not. Well, what is the point then? Well, I don't know the whole thing. Well, I'm just uh, what I what the, well, the way Wilson put it to me, Mr. President, was that if the South would go along with the North, the South ain't going to go along with anything along. except that bill. And Wilson knows that. If he's got sense enough, to pull Pez out of a boot, he knows it. Yeah. If he hadn't, he ought to he ought to try it. What he says is that uh, you go and turn the South because I can't turn the North. That's the net of what he says. What we got to do is find agreement that both of us can get on. Yeah. And that's in the report. Okay, and fine, we'll come uh, back. I just thought this was worth uh, trying what, out. Uh, well, we've tried that. I tried that last night. Yes. Uh, uh, but what, what, I tried that this morning. I called Landrum this morning. Yeah. Landrum said, you get a bill through the Rules Committee, but you get a bill killed. That's well, what he Henry told me Wilson, on the phone. Well, Henry Wilson said to me that he thought maybe, uh, well, his opinion was that Landrum might be reflecting what used to be the situation, but which is not well, the situation in fact. Well, I would think it to, uh, if I were you and had to guess on the House's sentiment instead of listening to Wilson and Henry Wilson or, or Wilson McCowan, or Wilson, whatever his name is. Uh, McCarthy. Wilson McCarthy. I'd listen to Phil Landrum. Yeah. Well, He's the man that's going to have to get you the Southern votes. Yeah. 
Uh, neither one, neither one of those boys boys going to be able to pee one drop. Yeah. Wilson can't get North Carolina vote where he comes from. And uh, Wilson McCarthy can't deliver one. And before they go to evaluating for you, you picked out Landrum, which was a smart move. Now, you get down with Landrum and do what Landrum says you got to do and find some way that you can do what these other fellows want you to do administratively. Yeah. Okay, fine. Thank right. you.